Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Daryl here, and today we've got an absolute stunner in the studio. This is the brand new PT Pro. So yes, this is the brand new Schecter PT Pro. Of course, Schecter's been making their PT series of guitars for many years, which is their T-style guitar, but this is an all new model with a bunch of new features. Let's jump in and check it out. So if you guys wanna jump to a certain section of this review, feel free to do that. I'll put all the times in the video description below. You guys can check that out there and just jump to a certain section, but we're gonna go through all the features and construction. We're gonna go through a bunch of tones, including, if I have time, I'm gonna check the coil splits here on the PT Pro versus like a Fender Tele, just to see how close we can get um, with these tones to a traditional Tele tone. And uh, yeah, other than that, we'll do the wrap up, final thoughts, recommendations at the end. So anyway, let's jump in, check out the specs and construction. Now, first things first, we need to talk about how gorgeous this quilt top is. If you're a fan of quilt top guitars, the PT Pro is going to hit all the right notes for you. Love the blue burst finish. It also comes in a really uh, intense kind of like violet. I think it's a purple burst um, with an ebony fingerboard. This one is roasted maple on the neck with a separate roasted maple uh, fingerboard, which means there's no skunk stripe. Uh, the back of the neck is absolutely beautiful satin, thin C uh, shape, so very, very comfortable, very fast. Um, but yeah, overall, we've got roasted maple, alder body, quilt maple top. Now, jumping into more of the detailed specs, on the headstock, we've got Schecter branded locking tuning machines. I've used these on a bunch of their other models. Really solid, never had an issue. Love how thick and easy it is to grab uh, the tightening discs. So it makes, you know, using them very, very easy. Now on the front face of the headstock, you can see the truss rod cutout is very clean, very precise. It's these little details that show you, you know, the kind of time that's put into an instrument. Uh, so this is always an area I take a look at, you know, if it's always rough cut or, you know, partially finished, that kind of stuff. Kind of gives you an idea of how much time and detail was put into it. This so far looks great. Now as for the nut, it's a Graftech Tusk XL nut. It's cut really, really nice. Uh, the action here is insanely low, but there's no buzz. Just clear, clean tones, um, but the action is very low. So whoever set this one up did a phenomenal job. Now moving on to the neck, we've got a slim C profile in this beautiful satin finish. Very, very easy to move around, not sticky at all, which I love. The fingerboard edges are rolled really, really nicely too, which just means, you know, as your fingers come up on the bottom or the top of the fingerboard, there's no harsh edge that runs along the entire edge of the instrument. Uh, it's all nicely rolled. So if you hang your thumb over to mute or to play notes or whatever, it's gonna be very comfortable. Now. Talking about the fretwork, we've got extra jumbo frets and the fret ends are very, very nice. I'll take some shots as I usually do, but as you can see, no tooling marks at all, very nicely polished. Um, so you can tell somebody spent a lot of time on the fretwork, which is what you wanna see because this is how you interact with the instrument day in and day out. You want the fretwork to be nice. And I also took a shot up high because, you know, sometimes as I've mentioned in other reviews, uh, manufacturers kind of hit you know, 15th, 17th, uh, certainly 19th to 22, and they kind of give up on the fretwork. Not so here. I'll take a shot of the fretwork up, uh, up high as well. So very, very nice from bottom to top. Um, as I mentioned, roasted maple, which means, you know, they bake all the moisture out of the wood ahead of time, which means the neck is more stable, has better for consumers, better for the manufacturers themselves, because as they, you know, ship guitars all over the world, no matter the humidity, um, roasted maple kind of resists that. So very, very stable, lovely neck. Oh yes, before I forget, this guitar also has lumen lay dots. So I'll take a shot of this. Uh, so they're basically glow in the dark. So as you know, the guitar is in the light, it charges up. And then if you're in a dark stage or something like that, you can always see your top markers. So that's a nice little touch as well. All right, so far so good. Let's check out the guitar body. Now, as I mentioned, this is an alder body. And hopefully if you guys can see, it looks to be one, two, three piece alder body. 
Very, very nice finish on the back as well. Kind of like that translucent burst and then that bright, <laughs> you know, super bright on the, on the front and then a little bit more subtle uh, teals and greens on the back. Very, very nice. Okay, and then of course we've got this insane burst uh, quilt top on the front. Now, I'm a huge sucker for double bound bodies and we've got wonderful, wonderful binding over the whole thing. Kind of almost like that Japanese telly flattens out a little bit where the jack is right there. But yeah, awesome binding even over uh, the neck plate, the neck joint there looks amazing. Now, the trade-off for that is you don't get contours. Uh, as soon as you add like, you know, a tummy cut here or a forearm cut here or a, a heel joint here, uh, the binding, you just can't bind a, a shape like that. So that's the toss up. You get a traditional Telecaster shape with wonderful binding. Um, but yeah, construction wise looks amazing. Neck joint, really nice and tight. Uh, all the detail on the binding looks great. Now moving on to the pickups, we've got a set of really aggressive looking humbuckers. Now, I don't know if they actually are aggressive or high output. Uh, they could be, you know, low output humbuckers for all I know. They don't list that on the site. So we'll plug in, we'll play some metal all the way to clean, uh, see if we can figure that out. Uh, but they look really cool and all the hardware, everything else is blacked out other than the stainless steel saddles, which are, uh, you know, very nicely machined. So it's a nice contrast to have the, the saddles on the blacked out hardware. That looks, uh, looks really great. And other than that, we've got volume, tone, and then the universal split on the tone knob which puts it into single coil mode okay so when that's out it's all singles or splits and then full humbuckers so in terms of overall construction and fit and finish the Schecter passes with flying colors all the small details in the binding no flaws in the finish at all the neck joint looks perfect the fretwork as i mentioned is impeccable so everything um, you know from a to z is covered it looks great All right, it's time for some tones. I'm gonna plug in the PT Pro. We're gonna play everything from, you know, super high gain to clean. So hopefully we'll cover all the gain stages, uh, humbuckers, split tones, everything. Let's jump in and check out the tones. Man, such a nice breakup tone. Uh, we're on the clean channel of my Hughes and Kettner, but we're driving it really hard. So let's split the coil, uh, see what that does. Yeah, that's nice. So definitely drives the amp a lot, uh, you know, less hard. Um, split it again. Okay, so now let's jump over to the crunch channel, see what that does. Let's split that. So let's head over to the lead channel.
right, now let's try the Ultra channel, which is uh, quite high gain. All right, so now let's see how the split coils on the PT Pro sound up against a real Telecaster. So I'm in the neck pickup with a light breakup tone. Here we go. And now let's check out the bridge pickup. So here are my final thoughts on the Schecter PT Pro. Well, beyond the beautiful exterior, I think Schecter did a really good job on these pickups. They are made in the USA, and I think they're hot enough to really kick out some amazing signal, but not so hot that they sound terrible clean. I thought they sounded actually really good clean. Um, and you know the coil split? Well, it doesn't sound exactly like a Telecaster. Uh, it's a really useful tone. I always appreciate it when people do that. You just pop it out, go into your single coil tone, um, and it's amazing how much an amp will clean up and then click it into the full humbucker mode and just let her scream. So I think it's a useful tone, even though it doesn't sound exactly like a Tele. And other than that, as I mentioned before, no areas of concern in terms of construction. This guitar is built well. Playability is excellent. There's no headstock dive, so it just stays where you put it, which is nice, very well balanced. And that flat 14 inch radius with those big frets, oh man, you can just fly around on this thing. Bending is so easy. Um, it's just a joy to play. Now, one thing I would like to see Schechter do is to go to staggered height tuning machines on this model. Um, even though this is a sub $1,000 model, I think it's $899, which is insane. It's just so much guitar. Like this is easily somebody's lifetime guitar. It's, it's that good. But I'd love to see them do uh, staggered height tuning machines and eliminate some of the string trees. That's just a, a personal opinion. I like to see um, eh, maybe just one string tree on a model like this. Um, but other than that, it sounds great. It plays great. Um, yeah, not much else to say. It's an amazing guitar. So I'll link to this guitar in the video description below. You guys can check out all the specs there. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this demo. You can check out the t-shirt store, the tab store, all in the video description below or perhaps on the screen right now. We'll see. Other than that, have yourself a great week. Take care.